What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Veronica Mars, Season 1, Episode 21. Let's get into it, shall we? Who that? Don't Buenos get. dias. Oh, you no. found them? Of all the countries under military dictatorship in all the world. So did they give you the jet to take me back home? Or am I supposed to click my heels? It's a hell of a job you did with a fake passport, by the way. Do you think I killed Lily? I don't know who killed your sister. Am I gonna find that out this I only season? know it wasn't Abel Koontz. I know it wasn't me. Duncan's Randy kind of just a snack. shaping it for me. Double concave bottom, the sweetest little rocker through the tail. Ooh, and you dinged it your first time out? What? Dude, so not laughing. This is my child. The thought of you breeding? Uh, mazel tov. Hey, Veronica, see, when they run away like that, it's kind of a hint they're not interested. You do not want to start with me today, Paco. It was in my day plan or under goals. How is this your business? Well, I'm just looking out for Veronica. If you think you're going to lay a hand on her the way you did... Don't you even say her name. She kind of liked it when I said it. You think she had any real interest in you? You're a pork rind. You want people grab when they're stoned. What makes it worse, thinking she had feelings for me or that she was using me for sex? You stay away from Veronica. I'm not the one she's running away from. Gentlemen. Thanks. You're getting juicy. What is it? I'm not leaving. It's kind of a bad time. Okay, so I should come back when? Never. Did that work for you? What did I do, Veronica? Can you just tell me so that I can apologize or explain? Explain, okay. Explain to me why you were the one with GHB the night of Shelley Pomeroy's party when someone drugged and raped me. Explanation? Apology? You were raped? Okay, don't. Seriously. What happened to you? You tell me. No, I think he's being... Wait, I think wait a he... second, you think... I was told that you were the one with the drugs. I got some Liquid X when I was in Tijuana. We were just gonna have some fun. Like sex with unconscious people fun? Well, fun like go to a rave fun. And oh. she okay, 100% has me. a... Bygones. What has can I do? Feel the way she feels. What can I do Question to if... make it better? I'm gonna find out who did this to me and I'm gonna make them pay, even if it was you. But I do feel like he was not involved Sorry. with that. Sorry, to go throw up now. As a rule, people that hate you aren't that helpful. There were about 100 people at Shelly's party. 98 of them would walk over my corpse for free gum. My o er resources are limited. I do have a few people I can count on. Can we skip English today? I have some sort of Hemingway-related narcolepsy. We start talking about the sun also rises, and I fall asleep. Don't blame Papa. Blame Mrs. Murphy's monotone. You were at Shelly Pomeroy's end-of-the-year party, right? Yeah, for a little while. Did you see me there? Why? My memory's a little fuzzy about that night. Yep, maybe that's a good thing. Is it? So you did see me for like a second. I didn't even say goodbye to Shelly. Talked to her like 50 times a day. Unless you want to stick around for some body shots. <laughs> someone should help her. I'm not ending the night with Veronica Mars puking in my car. Look, someone's got her. Hey, you can't be the cavalry. You don't know who helped me? So that's your big high school alcohol-related embarrassing moment. Everyone's got one, right? Not like that. You gotta let it go. You make yourself crazy. Watch your step, sir. Mr. Mars, well done. Thanks. Well done. Now Maybe your me, daughter has a future in travel plan. Give me my 50 G. When I travel the world, I'll be sure to send you a postcard. You can hang it in your cell. Keith, thank you. I don't know what we would have done. I'm happy everything worked out. I know you're anxious to get home. Stop by the office when it's convenient and we'll finish up. Finish up. Referring to the reward. You might want to speak to your daughter about that. Veronica and I had an arrangement. You just met her into the bargain. You have no idea what the past few weeks have been like. Next time you run away, take your medication with you. Empty stomach. Remember when I saved you from drug dealers and I said I may call upon you for a favor someday? You didn't say that. It was implied. <laughs> okay, what can I do you for? I heard you went to TJ with Sean and Logan and scored some GHB. It was like a year ago. I don't have any now. I was going to spike your juice box and have my way with you. <laughs> What'd you do with it? Nothing. Honestly, I, I didn't do any. I gave it away. Who'd you give it to? Dick Casablancas. <laughs> Look at that. Fever's getting all the love and Dick's flapping out in the breeze. You have like the hottest girlfriend ever. Just get some stuff in TJ. Well, I'm saving it for a special occasion. This isn't it. Who invited Veronica Mars? Why do you let this stuff get to you? You're all tense. Can you not be all over me for five seconds? Ooh, that wig is wigging. <laughs> that wig was wigging. So Dick drugged Madison? He asked for two doses. I figured he was going to take one and ask her to take the other one. I'm pretty sure she didn't. How do you know that? 
you're not gonna like this part. Stringy haired white trash! As I understand it, GHB is supposed to make you nicer. Why would Madison do that? Because she's a horrible human being. You can keep asking, but you're not the fairest. Trust me. I can tell you who the pastiest is. What's the deal? Can't buy bronzer with food like stamps? The same color. You wrote slut on my car last year. Why? Because whore had too many letters. I have never done anything to you up till now. What? How about making out with my boyfriend in front of an entire party? I guess I shouldn't take that personally, though, huh? You pretty much made out with everyone. I don't believe you. Are you kidding? Anybody else? When I think about you, I just myself. You have the best hair. You like that, huh? Does he? Wow, well, that's not cool. You think that's cool, though, don't you, Case? I made out with Dick and Casey. You made out with the garage door. Don't even start with the, I was so wasted. I was drugged. Someone put GHB in my drink. Yeah. She could have gotten me fired. Yeah. How is that not a they big did. deal to you? She bitch. put a listening device in a plant. My son, deliver it to my place of business. But she has her reasons. Her, she's 17. She's not your average 17 year old. You treat her like she's 40. No, I'm so sorry. Clarence Weedman knew that I would... Just let me explain. Dad, if I can just explain... Veronica, go to your room now! I mean, maybe let her explain. Fine. Maybe. But he bugged me first. He bugged her first? That's what she said. Duncan's okay. He's back home. His parents are gonna keep him home a couple days, let him rest. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's okay. It's my fault. I'm the one who gave Wallace a bugged plant. Veronica, you make some kind of deal with Celeste Kane that I don't know about. No. I told her I'd look for Duncan if she released Weevil. He said she wouldn't pay the reward. He said that we're even now. It's ridiculous. They'll pay. Just enjoying the moment. She's a witch. Veronica, what if you started looking for another job? Selling clothes or something? I just can't help think that your life would be better if you weren't working for me. Are you kidding me? You're the best father in the world. She is so good at it. I mean, like... come on. Look at me. I'm healthy, happy. Bro. Good grades. All my own teeth. <laughs> Fancy shoes. I never would have gotten through this past year if it wasn't for you. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have to. Hey, stranger. Oh. What's up, Veronica? Kind of an awkward question. Do you remember Shelly's end of the year party? Not really. I gotta get some stuff done before class. See you around, okay? I was just wondering how you've been, you know, without your grandmother. I've been good. I got my priorities in check. What's the awkward question? Did I hit on you at Shelly's party? No. Did it get ugly at Shelly's? Oh, yeah. I don't want anybody else. You like grabbing hair, huh? That's nice, huh? So you should be mad at his ass. I just go to see Uncle Case. I mean, she was drugged anyways. Oh, not her no, fault. thanks. I'd like mine to be able to stand on their own power. Well, I'm gonna go drink some bleach now. If you don't remember much about that party, maybe you should leave it that way. And I guess that means you saw something else? I have to go home. You are home. See, there's your pool and your hot tub and your big mansion. And here's a hot foreign exchange student that's been living with your family. I know you've had your eye on her. And that's okay. It's perfectly natural. <laughs> I hate all Some these of the guys thought people. it would be cool to see you make out with Shelly. They were feeding me shots. Guess they were afraid you were sobering up. Whole fucking school sucks. All y'all bitches. This is why I need to keep my walkie-talkies in my car. Really, you don't? See, I find I hardly need my walkie-talkies at school at all, but that's me. I'm so sorry I had you bug Kane software. If I knew that your mom was gonna get in trouble, Stop. I... Stop. I'm not stupid. I knew I wasn't just delivering a plant. I could have said no. You know, I do these things for you and I never ask you why. I know. You know why? Because I know you would never tell me. I'd do the same for you. Logan Echoes used one of the absence slips I took for you. You checked the absence slips? You I do favors for. My friends I put my butt on the line for. That guy doesn't even know my name. You want to tell me why I'm helping him out? You're not. You sure about that? I needed him for something with his mother's case. Loose ends and stuff. That's it. Thanks. Now that I have all the details, I don't feel like such a chump. Not the full details. What? I'm just thinking of all the ways I can destroy you. Well, you sitting there grinning is kind of torturous. So Shelly Palmer and I were thinking of getting together later for a little girl on girl you want to come with? Wow. When you're about to soil yourself, you get a little twitch right in your eye. Unless you want me to tell my favorite local deputies that you were the one with GHB the night of Shelly's party, I know you were feeding me drinks. Look, I wasn't feeding you drinks, it was Dick. He's the one that you should be talking to. Dum, dum, da, dum. Dick. What? I'm gonna hurt her or something, man. Oh, I heard her. You, she might not even know it. This is, this is so not even funny. What's the problem? Like, like, you're serious? I mean, this is you trying to get me to do something stupid that you can laugh at me? She's actually kind of hot when she's quiet. Perfectly cute piece of ass. Ready and willing. She's not willing, Dick. She's unconscious. It's kind of the best you're going to do, bro. You're not real big with the sober chicks. I'm just going, all right. That's my boy. Make sure you suit up. 
You don't know where she's been. Your issue's with Dick and Beaver, not me. Uh, you were there too, fucker. Oh, I'm just sorry you had to witness it. That must have been awful for you. Run that thing over. Hiya, Dick. How's it going? What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get your attention. Got a couple questions for you. You're freaking nuts, you know that? Insulting me right now seems like a good plan, how? What do you want? Answers. Did you give me GHB the night of Shelly's party? What? I'm not even the one who had it. I mean, I got some, but I didn't give any to you, I swear in my life. When you say that, it makes me hope you're lying. I know you brought me into the guest bedroom for Beaver. I found you in the guest bedroom. Beaver, don't go. said you were gonna stay here with me. Why don't you come back here? It's an awfully big bed. Are you freaking kidding me? How about reality, Dick? I'm just telling you what I saw. I didn't drug you. Don't go blaming me because you got all wasted and slutty. Oh! 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 Good, fucker. Fever. You don't look happy to see me. What's going on, Veronica? Really? Well, I just found out that the dream I had where I was locked in a bedroom with you was reality. Care to share some details, lover? Nothing happened. Actually, something did happen. And I might not remember the details. I sure as hell remember the morning after. I swear to God, I didn't touch you, Veronica. Dick, he was he was all on me, too. There's this girl, this this freshman, her name's Sydney, and she's kind of, well, she's easy. Me and her, we were, we were supposed to, Dickie said something up. And then she was all over Logan, and then she left early with him. Yeah, sucks to be you, and... And then Dickie brought me to the guest room with you. All fucking different versions of the story. I just wanted to leave me alone. What really happened? You need me to get you started? Just go, all right? I got it. That's my boy. Hey, make sure you suit up. You don't know where she's been. Veronica, you okay? He left her alone and someone else does it? Well, according to him. Yeah! That was my big night. I mean, I'm supposed to lose my virginity. Instead, I hurl on Carrie Bishop's shoes. Nothing happened. Really, I mean, I, I, I swear on my life that the last time that I saw you, you were passed out on that bed. Well, hey, thanks for leaving me there. Yeah. I don't know. The whole ritual cleaning thing is textbook for a reason. For a couple of minutes, you're in control. Everything's the way it should be, at least on the surface. You see another special on dust mite? They're disgusting, and they must be destroyed. Do you have any messages, or did you boil them? Apparently, that package you've been waiting for is in Vegas. Is it a white Bengal tiger? Yeah, as the entertainment lawyer I've been tracking for the past year. My source in Vegas spotted him. I'm gonna have to leave as soon as possible. Maybe you want to stay with a friend or something. And miss an opportunity to have the apartment to myself so that I can raid the liquor cabinet and watch Skinamax? Uh. Wait, I'm a girl. I'm gonna do my homework, secure all the locks, and crawl into bed with an overly protective pit bull. You don't have to worry about me. Ah! For you tonight, I am making Aaron's extra special crab cakes. I'm sure I'll thoroughly enjoy them. Right up until my esophagus closes up, cuts off my air supply, and I shuffle off this mortal coil. Perhaps my last words will be, great crab, Papa. I'm allergic to shellfish. Oh, of course, I forgot. You didn't forget. You never knew. I did. I, I, I just got you confused with Trina. Trina's the one allergic to work. Oh, you know, somehow... What do you do for work? You got it in your head that I don't know a thing about you. I raised you. I know plenty. Well, then round one of how well do you know your son? When is my birthday? <sighs> February. Wow. Well, you got a vowel right. You know, I have been pretty tolerant. You are pushing it. D does it matter that I'm trying? I mean, does that count for anything at all? You don't even know his birthday, yeah. bro. You're accumulating points. You've almost won the life back. I'm committed to this family, Logan. I'm committed to you. You'll see that. You've got limited time. My 18th birthday, whenever that is. Mom's inheritance comes through. And... Bon voyage. Yeah, I don't know, man, because that's not really that much money. I mean, it's, it's a good a amount of money, but that ain't going to last you that long. Some answers if you can give me what was it? 100,000? I'm kind of in the weeds. Oh. Do you remember Shelly's party last year? Yeah. I don't. We're like popping around least, all the people not from the Between throughout passing the out in the backyard and waking up the next morning in the guest room, I think you probably saw me. I saw you. She's gorgeous. With who? God. Duncan? Shut the door next time. Welcome back. Harry Bishop said that you and I were in bed together the night of Shelley Pomeroy's party last year. Care to elaborate? What? Do you know how wasted I was at Shelley's party? I, I barely even remember it. The whole night's a blur. Carrie said she walked into the guest bedroom and you were naked and on top of me. You were the one that raped me. I raped? So I'm a murderer and a rapist now. What are you doing? Why are you acting like you weren't there? What? You were there too, you. She I, I was drugged. An unspoken rule, like we're never gonna talk about it, but now I raped you. You're here. Hi, baby. I miss you. You don't remember. It's kind of a bad feeling. If it was so tender and loving, why did I wake up by myself searching for my underwear? Because I had to get out of there. I, I saw you there. I realized what I did. What did you do? I slept with you. But it was consensual, right? 
Then what about that is so wrong? Because you're my sister, and I knew it. I tried to just cut you out of my life. I loved you, tried not to, but it won't go away. <laughs> You knew that was your sister and you still did it, you nasty fuck. You nasty. That is nasty. I was about to call the police on you, stalker. You nasty as hell. This is so not an I told you so, but do you see why I kind of keep things to myself? I think I can go home now. Maybe you should just stay here. He no. Of course you feel worse. I don't care about me. I just wish I could do something or say something. You don't have to say anything. That's kind of the good part. You say I never tell you anything when I ask for favors. Yeah, you so don't need to worry about that right now. I'm not worried. Here's everything there is to know. Don't tell me Wallace still has you cutting his crusts off. How are you, Veronica? Sorry. I'm really hoping you won't hold my dad responsible for my boneheadedness. He's the best guy ever. You see that, right? You guys are really good together. I know. You make him so happy. I'm afraid I didn't make him too happy before he left for Vegas. I think I might have ruined things. Trust me, I know how he feels about you. He's not going anywhere. Yo, mama, come back. Hello, who am I talking to? Hi, is this Cheyenne? You know it, baby. I'd like to set up an, um, an appointment. I know now it wasn't you, and I'm sorry I accused you. It's fine, you okay? Not fine. I'm really sorry. Veronica, all I care about is you, okay? You? Did you find something out? I fucking hated yeah. him so much. Do you want to tell but me? But now more? I like him. You know, I, I don't like his me. stupid necklace, but I like him. I'm just here for whatever you need, okay? I was drugged, but I wasn't. I was with Duncan. Apparently, we ended up in the guest room together. He was wasted, and I was out of it. And I guess our feelings and nature. I'm sorry. I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> Hello to you. Come in, come in, please. Not the walk. Fuck, can I get you anything to drink? Are you hungry or anything? I think not having to buy me dinner first is kind of the point. Why don't you come sit over here with me and relax, okay? Maybe we could go sit out on the balcony. Still gonna be married on the balcony. Ah! Now, I want you to tell me exactly what you want. That one thing you can never get the little woman to do. And we'll start there. Actually. I'd like to start by talking about Abel Kuntz. My name is Keith Mars. I'm a private investigator from California. I've been looking for you for a year. I know you were with Abel Kuntz at the time he supposedly murdered Lily Kane. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a phone record, Cheyenne. Abel called the same number at the same time every week. It was a standing appointment. By the time I traced that number back to you, you'd moved on. Seattle, San Francisco, Aspen. And I bet I know why. An innocent man's life is at stake. He confessed! For whatever reason, if I come forward, I'll be that the most somebody famous else working girl on this planet. fucking walking or I killing have a somebody. Son who thinks I'm a stewardess. A girl was murdered. Don't you think person who killed her should be the one in jail? Yes. I think she's a gourmet humor him. Ellie's gonna make us eat the candlelight tonight. Okay, showtime. Uh Surprise! <laughs> oh my. God. Oh, fuck. So is this party nine months early or three months late? I got a lot of lost years I gotta make up for. This is my way of getting started. It's a good call. What the hell are you doing? Fuck off, get out. Please tell me this is like some new reality show called My Skank. Goodbye, Dick. Yeah. What? Get out of my house. Dick, you're You dick. have a problem with Veronica, you leave. Actually, you have a problem with Veronica, you're pretty much dead to me. Evaporate or something, I don't know. I love him. That's kind of a general invitation. If you don't like my girlfriend, then just start heading toward the rectangle with the nun. Are you okay? Look, Duncan, listen, I wanna... What's he so mad about? It's his sister. He shouldn't be fucking wanting her like that anyway. So, you like dating Logan now? Yes, Madison. Do you think his dad's gonna do another movie soon or what? He is way too cute to become a has-been. You want one? They said it was sugar-free, but I don't know. <laughs> Party hats. You don't want to drink that. Why? I'm betting Madison gave you a trip to the dentist. It's her thing. She does it to people she doesn't like. She spits in a cocktail and calls it a trip to the dentist. Because we're in eighth grade. <laughs> Ow! Did you give me a trip to the dentist the night of Shelly's party? What? Did you spit in your drink and give it to me at Shelly's? Like, I was the only person spit you had in your mouth that night. Uh, bitch, get out. 
I hate all these people. Regular soda? Why didn't you just fill the cup with lard? You have no idea what you did to me. Oh my god. Spit in your drink. You are like so scarred for life. Jesus. <laughs> okay, Logan is fucking adorable. Now see, why can't it just be like this? Why do I feel there's other people in this world? What are you doing? <laughs> Too short. You need to level the playing field. This is where you take all your conquests? <laughs> nope. Only the short ones. I have to tell you something. We're past the confessional portion of this program. We're until we make out. It's not. I gotta I have to tell you something about Shelly's party. I know about the Salt Lake. I'm gonna choose to think of it as one of those not real things. There's more. What the hell are you doing? You can barely sit up, freak. You can't be the cavalry and a martyr, man. Pick a side. Leave her alone. Hmm? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. No, man, you're, you're totally right. There's no way to have fun, huh? Cheers. <laughs> Oh, you drugged him. I just wanted Duncan to have some fun. You know, he barely even smiled since Lily. Ugh. You didn't know what would happen. I'm the one who's responsible for what happened to you. And I can't take that I hurt you like that. I can't take that I hurt you when all I want to do is protect you. Who the fuck killed Lily, though? I want you to trust me. I do. I don't know about you, but I could use a refreshment about now. Lily. Lily learned that from me. It's almost endearing that I need a key to the liquor cabinet, don't you think? Wow, swell, huh? Right back. Two minutes. What do you see? Camera? Am I an idiot for liking Logan? I am, I guess. What a creep. Oh my God. You okay? Thanks for coming to get me. Bro, they love to do that on this show. Honey, I'm home. So am I, honey. Oh, so fuck. Fuck, and I just said Bob's gonna be home any minute, I bet. Oh, uh, and y'all are really trying to make me toe the line of fucking liking Logan and not liking Logan, thinking he's a creep and really fucking liking him. And I don't know which side of the thing I'm on because it's always like not really what it seems. Like there's like an explanation usually. So I think that I'm being led to think that he's a fucking creeper, but he's not necessarily a creeper. Hopefully. I don't know. We're gonna see. Is that his room that they were in? For sure, for sure. I don't really know. Ah, I think it was. It had to be, right? Why would he be in someone else's room? Mom's home. Fuck. There's only one episode left of season one, I think. Let me double check. Because if there is, I'm going to go watch it right now. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. We about to watch it. We about to watch it right now. I'm going to head on over there because I got to fucking know. How are you going to put it there and then expect me to not want to watch the next one? Fuck. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.